Hello class, this is a small recording about the ArcGIS of the assignment, how you will be using those provided files to get the data that you'll be using in the assignment three of big data. We expect you to already install the ArcGIS Pro in your computers those who are using the virtual machine have already familiarized with the, using the software. So going on the assignment, you are asked to create a new project. So creating a new project, you will come here on the map, the prompt will appear. So you have to name your project as it indicated on the assignment. The data assign me, I think, and you have to choose the folder where you restore your project. For me, I've chosen to put it in the assignment folder. So the new project is being created here. And we expect you to already have the all files ready to be used. And you have to unzip them so that they can be used in this software. So you have to wait until the project is formed. When the project is already created, we see here uh, a map that confirms the creation of the project. So I've already told you, you can see that the project is created. Remember to, to take the screenshots of all your steps because you will need them in the report to confirm that the work is your own. So continuing on what you have to do, I think we are going on uh, part four of the assignment, question number four. It is talking about uh, uh, extracting the file that you have already downloaded and upload it to the ArcGIS software. So in order to upload the render boundary set file, you will come here on the map tab. There is map tab as well here, and you will go on add, add data, add data to the map. So you click here, you have to browse where you are. Render sector boundary file is located. And then after browsing it, you have to upload it in the ArcGIS app. As you are seeing here, already you have the boundaries of each sector in the Rwanda country. So continuing on the another step that you have to follow. So that means I have already proceeded on question number five. So I have to also upload the the Wanda Night Light TIF Luster file here in the ArcGIS. So I assume that you have already downloaded it. Following the same procedures, I have to go on the map, add data, and then add data from the map. And I have to blot where my file is located. So I see SVD, NB, and other things. So this is my last data set that I have to also import it here in the ArcGIS or upload it. So I have to wait until it is uploaded. As you can see here, I have two layers here. I have the sector boundary layer and I have the 
yonder night light rare that have been created. So another step I think is to creep our layers so that we remain with the necessary part, necessary parts and remove those unnecessary unnecessary that we will not need in the in this assignment. So going on the creeping step, so you will use the analysis tab for the analysis. You will go on tools, tools. After clicking on tools, there will be a prompt from light side of your map called discard geoprocessing. This is where mostly you will be you will be using the analysis in the assignment. So what you have to do here. is to search what we call creep raster. Creep raster. Okay, you see there are a lot of creeping tool. There's team to raster, speech raster, creep layer, creep only. So for us, we are only interested in creep raster. And uh, the, the, the data management tool, that is where you you will create. So the prompt again will appear, which require you to add the input. So for last, the input will be the Rwanda Nightlight file. The output extent will be the sector boundary. So the rectangle, you will leave the data as they are in the default, and then you will click here to use input features for creeping geometry, and you have to maintain the creeping extent as well. And then here you have to rename your area. So the area has to be names, named as the assignment was instructing so i think the, the area has to be named as wonder night light 2015 slash below seven so you don't touch on the path the only part that you have to rename is the last one okay this one so then I have to click on the run and see what happened after peeping my layers. So I have to wait as the GIS is processing my my data. So I think the clip where I have already completed. So as you can see here, let me uncheck the sector boundary. You can see some bright spot here. Even and click here on the night light. Rare, you can see some of the bright spot here. So seeing those bright spot, you will maybe go on the Google map or use other maps to compare those bright spot with the Google map. You can even search for the Wonder Economy to see why we have some of the bright spots in the center of the country. So then proceeding on what you have to do, as this map have some negative values that we don't need to work with, we have to convert those negative values to zero. 
I think that is the next step that we are going to do. From here on the analysis score, again on the tools that we have to go here on the processing again, you have to search for the raster calculator. Raster calculator. There is raster calculator image analysis tool, raster calculator spatial analysis tools. Raster to midpoint. For last, you are only interested in a special analysis tool, so you have to go on this. Second last calculator. After that, the, there is a white space here that you have to insert the formula that you are given in the assignment to convert negative values to zero. You can type it in the in that prompt or maybe copy and paste it that can be the easiest way you have to put the formula here and again you have to rename your where as it is indicated in the assignment so i think there has to be named as Rwanda nightlight 2015/07/ slash neg so yeah I have to rename as this refracted and click on none again and I have to wait and remember to take the screenshot of all your arts or steps that you Forward. So here you can compare with this non-negrea and the, the the original one with the negative value. There is some of the small changes. If you can check closely, you will see that there are some of the small changes on the map. For here again, you are asked to see to explain what does it mean is those uh blight spots. So you will see even for the Rwanda demography to see why you we have a huge black part with some of bright spots in the middle of the country. So the next step I think to get summary statistics of the those night light for each sector of Rwanda. In order to get the summary statistic, I think we still do use the analysis tool and your processing. So what you have to do is to also calculate what we call zonal statistics. So following the same procedures, you come here in analysis tools. And again, you have to search what is called the zonal statistics. No. Uh, from zonal statistics, the lot of tools that you can use, there is zonal statistic image analyst tool, zonal statistic spatial analysis tool, zonal statistic as table image. So for us, we'll be using zonal statistic as table spatial analysis tool. Clicking here. You'll be required to put input rare. So the input raster that you'll be using, I think, is the sector boundary. And again, in the zone of field, the assignments instructed, you will be using FID, identifier, input value raster. From the input value raster, you will be using Rwanda non-neg rare. And then you have to put the name as the assignment instructed. I think it's called 
Wanda night light zone. That what you have to add here. So and then you can ignore the known data and calculations from statistics statistics type. You will select all. So then don't don't proceed as multidimensional. So you will not click here. So for the for this part, you have to also run to see what we get. So I think when coming on the left tab, there is in standalone table. That is what we have be, we have already created. So it contains the summary statistics of the sectors here in Rwanda. So you can right click on it and open the, the data inside of FID, have count, area, minimum, max, range, mean, standard deviation, the sum. So this table, there is data that you, you will use in the assignment. So what we are going to do is to export it from ArcGIS so that you can use in the assignment. So the exporting part is not complicated. What you have to do is to, to find also the tool that we are going to use following the same procedures that you have been following. So what you are going to do is the table to Excel. Oh. oh, I think your yeah, table to Excel to Excel to table, table to table, table select. But for last, we are interested to table to Excel to. So have to select. Then input table is the table that we have already created. It's on the next slide. To 15 zone of scale, and then you have to select the output folder. You can go and browse it, or you can immediately rename your output file. So, after for the name that was being extracted. It is Wanda Nightlight fifteen zero seven dot XRS. So that what I have to put it here yeah. and do what and run. So I have to wait. See whether my table is exported. So I think my table is exported as Excel file, and I'm done with the ArcGIS part. What remaining is to use the data in the assignment. So I think there is a small but that I'm going to show you how you will copy the nightlight data and insert it into the, the data set that you will be using. So I can stop sharing here. And so the last stage of this part is show you how you will be using the data you exported from ArcGIS to on your MPI assignment data set. So what you have to do is to open your project, 
to see where you have exported your summary statistic of sector bundle sectors in Rwanda. From here, you will see a column named sum. That is what you will be using for this assignment. So, what you have to do is to select the column, select, okay. You have to copy it and you will need to open your MPI assignment data set. After opening it, there is a column named Nightlight Sum. It is empty, so you have to fill it with the data form. From the summary, stati summary statistics you have already exported from the ArcGIS. After filling it, you will save your data set so that you can use it in the other question for the assignment. So I think I was clear enough to explain all steps if you have any concern or you haven't this understand any step you will post your question in piazza so that TAs will help you to with your issues thank you very much and good luck in your assignment and in the exam as well